Welcome to May 2021's Ambuscade Volume 2 against Flies. Now in this video, we'll start with the key item acquisition for this month, and then go into an overview of the battle strategies I recommend for taking this month's challenge on. Then I'll show you two battle examples, one on Ninja and the other one on Red Mage. Now let's go ahead and start with this month's key item acquisition. This month, you're going to need a single vermin kill for your first run of the day, and 10 vermin kills for multiple runs in a day. Now I recommend home point warping to the East El Buca Cizek Battlegrounds, where you can actually find over 30 bees within the surrounding area and a short distance away. Now these bees respawn very quickly, however I know that this won't be enough on some servers to support all the people needing the bee kills, therefore feel free to post any suggestions on other good locations for key item acquisition this month in the comments below. Now let's go on to battle strategies for this month. This month's ambuscade is against a single fly, Guaz We Needer. This main NM has the ability to summon additional flies to his aid as well as a golden bomb that give you 100 bonus hallmarks. Additionally, each fly that is alive will reduce the damage taken reduction on the main NM that starts out very high. Now I've done over 10 runs with both Red Mage and Ninja, and the specifics of this fly appear to be clear, but not always consistent. Let's go ahead and go over what I've learned. Now, I've gone ahead and come up with some rules that kind of dictate the mechanics of this fight, but please note, these rules do not appear to always be true. Instead, they appear to increase the likelihood of such things occurring, and I have examples of each of these not being true. However, they have all proved true 90 plus percent of the time. Therefore, this is what I'll build my strategy off of. The first rule is skill chains cause flies to spawn. The first time, only one will spawn, the second time, two flies will spawn, and then the third time, three flies will spawn. Note, this is not after three skill chains, this is at different points of the fight, skill chaining will cause these to occur, or if you have skill chained, they will occur. Please note that these additional flies do not need to be killed for the win, and seem to often use their TP moves together, so be ready for that. Rule number two is magic bursting off those skill chains is going to cause golden bombs to spawn. Now I've seen up to two bombs spawn on about one third of my runs, but I have not seen three yet. It may or may not be possible. As a reminder, each one will give you 100 additional hallmarks. This means on many of my runs, I'm getting 400 hallmarks, and in about a third of them, I'm getting 500 hallmarks per win. So it's a nice little bonus for this month. The third and final rule is the more flies that are out, the lower the defense reduction on the main boss. Now he's going to start off with a very high defense reduction with your skill chains, weapon skills, and magic burst doing practically no damage. But as more flies are spawned, those will start to do the damage that you are used to and really take his hit points down quite quickly. This will be most obvious when all six are out near the end of the run. Now the flies in this run seem to use standard fly abilities and attacks, which normally aren't much of a threat. However, the worst of this bunch seems to be the debilitating drone ability, which in this particular fight can stun you and your trust for up to 10 seconds and give you amnesia for up to 45 seconds. Therefore, I recommend a strong magic evasion set to resist as much of this as possible. I also recommend you actually use some Mpaka gear, I end up using them in my body and legs, for some intimidation effect and counters. Now for strategy on this one, you therefore simply want to get in a skill chain as quickly as you can at the start of the fight, followed by a magic burst, and then repeat that over and over. Normally you'll get that magic burst off just as the first fly is spawned, which will cause the golden bomb to spawn immediately. You then want to repeat this process over and over with each burst appearing to have a chance to spawn a golden bomb. So dual magic burst if you can, and a bursting truss such as Shantoto 2 will also help speed along this fight if you can't manage that yourself. Now if you are planning on tanking this fight yourself, I'm definitely going to recommend some good evasion gear, such as malignance gear. As I mentioned a minute ago, Mpaka gear is also really good here with the intimidation effect and counters. I also found it of a little issue to tank all of the flies when all six were out in addition to the boss and not bother killing them. You will often lose hate on them which is just fine, they'll kind of go to your trust as they're doing cures. Just keep your damage going and recasting your shadows to bring them back. Now if you're not planning on tanking or are not comfortable tanking all of those flies at once, there are some other options that you have. What I recommend you do 
is once the first ad spawns, go ahead and leave him alive. Don't kill him, and take advantage of that reduced damage taken reduction on the main NM. Then, when the two additional flies spawn, finish your skill chain and magic burst combination, and then switch to those three adds and take them all out. Each should only take a weapon skill or two to finish off. Now once all three are dead, go back and focus on that main NM again. When the three flies pop near the end, usually about 20 to 25%, make sure you keep your damage going and completely ignore them. You have a chance to spawn one more golden bomb if you're quick enough, and can magic burst off that last skill chain. Now, trust selection on this one can be important. When we're using Red Mage, we're going to use V to tank for us. We're going to use Joaquim for marches. But when you're on Red Mage, I really do recommend using Omiya instead, as she ends up using better haste songs for the Red Mage. Now, on Ninja, we're going to use Kurumuru for haste and Dia. Now, on both jobs, we'll be using Shantoto 2 for our added magic burst damage and to add to our own magic burst. And then, like usual, we'll be using Monboro and Yuran Oran for cures. Okay, let's go ahead and see what our two battle examples look like. We're going to start with Ninja, which will spawn two Golden Bombs. Then we'll move on to Red Mage, which will spawn two Golden Bombs. Enjoy the runs, everyone.
and that's going to be it for the May 2021 Ambuscade Volume 2 against Flies. Definitely some good potential this month for a lot of hallmarks. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a great month. Stay safe and stay healthy out there.